them around the peninsula more enjoyable experience. In just a few hours, Carter's, Carter will host an open house to get your opinion on how to better improve existing transit services, supporting infrastructure, and creating faster commutes. News 2's Delilah James is joining us live from the Charleston Visitor Center. And Delilah, you spoke with officials from CARTA. What are officials hoping to achieve during these open houses? Good morning. Good morning, Octavia and Riley. Carter officials tells me they hope to improve the quality of life for members in the community, and that all starts with providing fast and reliable transits across the low country, something officials hope to achieve this morning. Today and tomorrow, board members of Carter will host several open house discussions at various locations around the Charleston Peninsula to receive input on how leaders can make transit more accessible and available throughout the low country. Officials say they have conducted a route study for over a year to target areas that are heavily tra traveled with Carter routes and to make sure they explore underserved areas that could use more transportation services to help improve your commute in heavy traffic areas. Leaders say with the city growing rapidly and newly developed infrastructure popping up across the low country, it's critical that Carter steps stays, stays way ahead to better serve rides on the peninsula. We grow as a city, as we grow as a community, as the number of people in our community just swells, having access to mobility and transportation is at the core of quality of life. And that's what CARTA does. For those who are transit dependent or those who choose transit, we wanna make sure that what we put out there on the road is convenient, accessible, goes to places you wanna go. And so it's really important for us to look regularly at the service we provide, make sure it's as good as it can be, and then plan for the future. This region is only going to continue to grow. Congestion is going to continue. And if we give people options other than one car, four wheels, or people who use transit every day don't have cars, we want to make sure we're there for, for all riders all the time at a reasonable rate, accessible. Um, so that's what we're working on. And that's what we work towards every single day. Again, one of those meetings will be here at the Charleston Visitor Center beginning at 7.30 a.m. And for a full list of the areas and the times, I'll have them posted on our website at countonto.com. Reporting live in Charleston, I'm Delilah James, Count On Two.